Welcome back to the Love and Dubai show. We are joined by Yusuf Al Matrushi. At the age of 18, he's broken over 35 national records. And he was part of this year's Olympics and a 100 meter freestyle swimmer. But you might know him from the viral clip of him being the youngest UAE flag bearer at the Olympics this year. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. It's an honor being here. An honor being here. You just came from the Olympics. <laughs> um, so much to get through with you. Uh, but first of all, tell us, UAE flag bearer, the youngest ever to do it. What was that experience like? I was honored. It's a big responsibility for me. Like, at this young age to be the flag bearer in the big, biggest sporting event in the world in the Olympics and like everyone is watching I had to be and it boosted my confidence going to the Olympics and now like after the Olympics done it boosted even my personality for the upcoming events competitions I'm sure it did how many UAE participants are there at the Olympics this year uh, six athletes at uh, six yeah one of six represented the UAE that's yeah. absolutely incredible thank you Um, and 18, it was your first Olympics. Did you notice a difference because it was COVID? Like, are you upset that you had to come back early? Because I know uh, Olympics participants this year can't stay for the duration of the event. Uh, the well, it's because of COVID, but like, I can't be mad because it happened, you know, the Olympics. So like, and even though I had to come back to prepare for my upcoming event, so I'm not mad because of that. But like, at least I had to race in the Olympics and like, go with the best athletes in the world. How was your Olympic swim? It was great, it went well. Everything was great about it. Uh, it's pushing me to become even better in the future in my upcoming swims. Um, tell us about maybe your family watching. Were they Zooming? Was anyone <laughs> able to travel with you? Uh, no one was able to travel because of COVID, but like everyone, like uh, maybe all of my school friends, teammates from my club, uh, national team, teammates, uh, my, fam- my whole family, like 200, 300 people watching me from TV, like ah. it was a great experience. That's absolutely incredible. Uh, what school do you go to, university? Uh, Let's uh, give a shout out. So I just finished school from Applied Technology High School and heading to the US to continue my swimming and educational career. Incredible. Uh, talking about your swimming and educational career, your swimming career started a little bit, it started with football, right? Yeah. Uh, I remember coming with my mother to the uh, sports club uh, wearing Manchester United jersey, Ronald, Cristiano Ronaldo one. And the coaches in the swimming pool were like, he can't go to football, he has to come to swimming. He's like so lean and tall at a very young age. He's going to have a bright future. And here I am like 10 years later with like going to the Olympics and breaking national records. Wow. Can you, can you actually remember that moment? Because maybe as a kid, if you have a Ronaldo jersey and you're a Man U fan and they're saying... <laughs> off to the pool with you you're fit for the pool did you actually understand that as a kid that maybe like because that would be quite a mature for me i'd be like well i want to play football or whatever it no, would be you know i didn't want to play swimming to be honest like first uh, one two years i didn't want to play swimming but like when i started breaking national records and getting medals and like uh, national competitions i started loving the sport even more and more and with the years going over and over i started like to concentrate more And then like knowing about the Olympics, then I had my goal for like three, four years and then it happened. It happened like an absolute, yeah. <laughs> it's so amazing. Like imagine the, just to represent your country on a of national course. level is crazy. Yeah. Um, what was it like, uh, or what was it like the moment that you realized it could be a career? Because we all kind of have hobbies and we have passions and then, and then they develop. And if you're talented, it goes further. What was the moment that you said, this is something I can do full time? Uh, like two years ago, like started getting like not only national but getting to compete like in the big stage Arab Championship, GCC Championship, and getting medals in there. But I felt like I can do even more. I can give more for the sport. I can improve not by only use of. I can improve like how the sport is going in the UAE, and that's why I could, I took the chance to go to in the future to the US to study and continue my swimming career to push the sport even more in the UAE. What is the swimming uh, society like in the UAE at the moment? Uh, it's been improving uh, a bit, but like, it's still it's got like a lot of work to do, and hopefully in the future it's going to be like even better. Um, speaking of moving on to study in the states, uh, you have just completed your high school career. You're yeah. off to study in the US. Uh, you're a pro swimmer for your country. How do you manage it all? Uh, it's a bit hard, but like you have to manage like school, uh, swimming, everything. 
like men, you have to men, uh, manage it mentally too like you have to like give it all every single training and you have to manage school and get getting high grades and now going to the uni to university it's going to be even harder but like i have to like be like up to the responsibility because at the end of the day i'm like representing my country 100 but even their responsibility between like getting those high grades and um how much do you prioritize towards the sport you know do you uh do you feel like you have always prioritized sports or do you are, are you able to like fit in some fun uh, i've always been prioritizing it but like swimming takes your whole time like when you're training doubles like in the morning and afternoon and then you have to recover and then you have to do like school work there's no time to fit in other stuff that's why like i'm sacrificing my life for the sport and it's like giving back to me like it's coming back to me in a better way like going to the olympics going to the us so many stuff 100 percent. yeah uh tell us a bit about the nca teams what that means to you and yeah like to become like one of the first athletes and not swimmers to represent a university at the ncaa division one level it's it's big it's a very big competition in the us especially for college and this like level of swimming is going to improve me a lot in the international competitions upcoming in the upcoming years so would you be on a scholarship to the us yeah i'm on a scholarship to the us amazing yeah um so you guys might recognize yusuf because the video of him hosting hoisting the ue flag went viral uh did you any have any idea that that was going to happen Uh, I didn't know that I'll be like the flag barrier for like uh, maybe one day before the opening ceremony. And even after with it happening, I didn't think it would go so viral with like local news up here. So many people seeing it, like Instagram pages having like millions and posting about it. Like Yusuf is like carrying our country's flag in the biggest sporting event. Uh, it gave me goosebumps, but like it gives me also confidence going to the Olympics. Amazing. Um, we've already covered, obviously, you made it to the Olympics, but 35 national records already. How does that, what does that mean to you? And also, do you have your medal? Are you the type of person to place your medals around your room or where do you keep them? <laughs> uh, I'm not the type of person to like put the medals, but like I take them like more into myself. Like I know like I know every single race of them, like I know like even if it's not like a world championship gold medal, but that race was like tough, like trying to race with like really strong national swimmers or for example in the GCC or for example in the Arab Championship so like I have like great memories in these races and they're like pushing me a lot for my future. Do you, how much do you need to prepare mentally? I feel like we've touched on physically but before these races like what are you doing the night before your Olympics race? Are, are you superstitious? Like do you do anything right before the race? Like do you have uh, lots of cool runnings for the kiss the lucky egg? Like yeah. do you have your own things? <laughs> No, I'm like, I'm a pretty confident person, but like, like going to like big races, even the Olympics, I was like confident that I have to like perform well, perform as best as I can possible. And I don't have like specific things that I do, but like I'm always confident with myself because like I've done the training, I've done the, work, the hard work. Now it's like the easy part, which is racing. So like, yeah. Interesting. Um, yeah. You know what? We will be following your journey because I feel like there's a lot more to come, guys. 18 years old, carrying the UAE flag at the Olympics. We have him in the studio. Thank you so much. I think a big round of applause for the Olympian. <laughs> An Olympian. Thanks We're so honored. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks so much.